Hello and welcome to this OpenTX Quick Tip. This is an OpenTX Quick Tip for this gentleman here, Drone Akira. Apologies if I've just completely destroyed that pronunciation. Apologies in advance. But it's all about the, using trims as switches on your radio. Now, for things like the QX7 and the X7S, then there is an abundance of switches and controls that you can use. So in my experience, you end up using the ones that are right for the particular model that you're flying in. But with radios like this X-Lite, there aren't an awful lot of switches at all. I think FR Sky kind of designed this more for quadcopter flying than anything else. And it does mean that occasionally you do get a situation where you'd want one or two more switches to control specific things on the model that you're flying. And the good news is, is that you can use the trims as controls. And in this video, I'll show you how. So let's just jump on to Companion. So here we are in Companion. I'm going to show you in Companion because it's easier from a kind of video point of view to show you how to do this. But let me just simulate this. So this is an X-Lite and I've actually got a number of channels controlled by the trim switches that would normally operate the aileron. So we're assuming here that maybe we've got a quadcopter or we have um, a model that we're not expecting to trim in flight. And I've decoupled the trims from the aileron and now I can use it in a different way. So watch over here for channels 5, 6 and 7. And as I move the trims about, look, you can see we have lots of different ways that you can actually implement the trims as switches. We can either have them, I get them back in a middle position, there we go. We can either have them operating as a three position switch. So watch channel 5, I've got one way, I go to the maximum position. Then back to the middle, I go to the middle position, back to the other way, goes to the negative position. So we can use them as like a three position switch. We can also just directly connect them to the outputs of channel six. So as I move it, you can see that channel six is moving. So it's almost like a, a rotary control or a slider. Or we can just use it so that when I hit that switch, I just get one little pulse. And we've done loads of things in the OpenTX Companion pieces already that talk about how you could use that to then become a sticky to control other things as well. So let me show you how I've done this. I'll put a link in the description to the OpenTX Mix School. Go and have a look at this if this kind of stuff is interesting to you. These radios are phenomenally powerful. OpenTX is brilliant, but it's a little bit too complicated for some pilots. But most of the things you're ever going to want to do, we've probably got a video for at this point. So let me close this down. And first of all, what I've done uh, there are a couple of ways that you can disable the trims from acting as a trim for the flight control itself. Uh, ones that we've looked at in the past have been actually using flight modes where you can decide whether or not you want the trim disabled or not. I don't want to disable the trim in this. I just want it to not affect the channel that it would normally be mixing to. So let me just show you how I've done that. So here we can see the aileron. Uh, I've actually selected no trim. So what I've done is normally in this include trim, there's all the different for the trims, aileron, throttle, elevator and rudder, there they all are. Normally it would look something like that, but I've selected don't include the trim. Now, and that means that if I move the trim for the aileron, it isn't changing the aileron channel, uh, it's just operating other things. So that's, good. that's what we need to do first. Then in the mixes, that allows us to do loads and loads of other stuff. So let's look at the easy one first of all. So channel six is the one that we're just using. If I show you again, channel six is this one here where it's just almost acting like a slider. It's not doing anything in particular. You might be using that to change global variable or uh, maybe adjust the center point of something like a pan and tilt servo setup, something like that for FPV. So if we look at channel six, all I've done here is I've said, Take the source for the channel from trim for the aileron. And there's all the trims listed. You can just pick the one you want. That's pretty straightforward stuff. Now for channel five, which is the one where as I move it, it goes from a maximum position to the middle channel to a low channel position. So like a three position switch, let me show you how I've done that. Channel five, what I've done again is I've again said the source is the same as TRMA or the trim for the aileron but this time I've added one extra thing which has added a curve. Now what the curve does it looks really weird but it's actually um, 
I'll explain what it's doing here. Let me put that right back. The trick is in the middle position for the channel, I want the middle position to be zero. As soon as it goes either minus one or plus one, i.e. any position other than zero, I want it to immediately go to the full channel value. So you're going to set up a curve like this, select a five point curve, have it as zero is going to be zero, minus one is minus 100, and one is 100. And then what you do in your mixes is you just select that curve that you've just made in here, click OK, and then what happens is it's almost working the same as the one that we've got on output six. It's almost like a slider. But as soon as we go away from the zero position for the trim, then it's operating as that three position switch. OK, with it so far. Last one we've got are these kind of momentary little pulses on channel seven as I go either up or down. That can be very handy in advanced mixes. Let me show you how I've done that because channel seven doesn't have a mix on here, but it's done with special functions. So I've said when aileron trim, and you can see here in special functions, you can be very specific about what aileron uh, or what trim direction you actually want, whether it's left, right, up or down. I've said when aileron trim goes to the left position, override channel seven with a minus 100. Make sure you've got the enable clicked on, otherwise it won't work. And when ATM trim goes right, override channel seven with plus 100. And that is what is causing when I pulse uh, the trim or press the trim each side, you're getting that little pulse on channel seven. So those are kind of three ways that you can use it. It means that you can access those trim buttons, which are actually down here in a QX7. It's actually these little things, uh, the, the four ways that act as these trims for both the elevator and aileron. You can, if you don't need them for trim buttons, decouple them like we have in here. The trick is in your inputs, make sure that they're not being used to trim the channel and then you're free to do all kinds of funky stuff with them. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction 2, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.